everyone, it's Fashionista Seems. We're back with an all new mini game, number 163. <coughs> yes. Hey, not us clear my throat preparing. Oh, alright then. Take it away, team! Why, thank you, Antique Fire Spells. Welcome back to an all new mating game. I. We have a very interesting game, I think. We always have an interesting game, right, Fred? You changing something, Fred? Oh, okay. Well, I guess our contestants are already talking and doing whatever. Returning! Eloise Transy! Hello, everyone! Returning! Chantel Schaefer! Hello, boy! You have a fucking body! A new bachelorette! Uni Sue! Hi everybody, I'm Uni. And of course in our third chair as always. There's a little no Smokey. Get your hand off Smokey's face. He don't like it. He's scared of the dark. Excuse me. And boo! I'm Hair Hail! Okay. And of course, our lovely cameraman Fred. Hello, Fred. I'm lovely. How are you, Fred? I'm doing good. All right, Eloise, you like to start with your first question? I do. What the hell? I ate. I got a question. I'm sorry, Eloise. I have a question for you. Uh huh. It's stuck in red couch. Oh no, I just got one too. I'm bloody fucking tired of it. Take. Quit sending me fucking texts about a fucking red couch. Yeah, hey, baby. Bachelorette number one. Yes, honey. What are you looking for in a relationship? Oh. A cute little blonde haired boy who loves purple, has a spider and clawed, and a cute little, has a cute little button of his soul. Sounds like you're describing me. I wonder. Bachelorette number two, what are you looking for in a relationship? Just somebody nice, you know, someone that's um, honest, loving, caring, you know, just those kinds of things. Nobody in particular. Hmm. Sounds like a good answer to me. Bachelor number three. Uh huh. What are you looking for in a relationship? Hot sex! No, I'm just kidding. No, this is a good girl. You know, somebody's nice, honest, kind. You know, this that type of person likes to have a lot of fun, drink beer, and meet a little bit of ham, and... Hey, nice to meet you, and you're a very pretty girl. Well, thank you, Ed. Bachelorette number one. Yes, baby doll. What do you do in your spare time? I hang out with my body at a waist trance -y. That's me. I do it all the time, actually. Not just spare time, all the time. Bachelorette number two. Uh-huh. What do you do in your spare time? Um, I ski a lot, so I live in the mountains. Ooh, sounds cool. I love it actually. Hang out with my family, you know. I was adopted when I was a, with a baby. Oh, that's nice. Where the boy hills takes emergency me? Is that you? Rush me! Oh, good God, Minerva, leave me the fucking hell alone. I'm not on fucking Survivor. I wanna go back! I'm not on it. I'm maybe next year. I think she's yeah, in the audience, Tink. Gosh damn it! Anyway, I am on the I am on the mating game. I am not Jeff. Captain Jeff. I don't even know Jeff really. Captain Jeff. I'll fucking talk to him, Derby Cop. Gosh damn you, Alois. <laughs> Box number three. Yes. What do you do in your spare time? Eat ham, drink beer, and have a fucking good time. Hell yeah. Good answer. That's what I say. 
Bachelor at number one. Yes, which eggs? Describe yourself in three words. Fun. Sexy, actually. I think I am. And let's see here. Mischievous. <laughs> Don't spit. Make some singing, please. Bachelorette number two. Uh huh. Describe yourself in three words. Let's see. I'm I'm a lot of fun. Um, I'm very athletic and very loving. Hmm, those are good traits. Thanks. Bachelor number three. Uh huh. Describe yourself in three words. Ham lover, beer lover, and uh, I'm sexier than hell, hell yes. I just got to say it. Bachelor at number one. Yes, honey. Can you handle someone who has a bad temper? I do all the time, honey. <laughs> Bachelor at number two. Uh huh. Can you handle someone who has a bad temper? Um, actually, I've never been around anybody that had a bad temper, but I guess I could try. Hmm. Never knew. <laughs> Bachelor number three. Hell yes. Can you handle someone who has a bad temper? I handle myself every day, and yes, I can. Dream. Well, I just whooped her ass is what I'd do. Not yours, of course, but you know. Yeah. Bachelor at number one. Yes, what? only. <laughs> what was your longest relationship? Or how long was your longest relationship? It's still going on, actually. It's been years now. And well, how long? About two years? Uh -huh. um, I a year? I think so. I don't know. Probably about a year or so. <laughs> Bachelorette number two. Yes. How long was your longest relationship? Um, actually, I haven't really dated anybody seriously. I'm only 18. So, I'm not really sure about the date time. Maybe a couple of weeks I dated off and on different people, but nothing serious. Hmm. All right, then. Bachelor number three. Yeah, yes. How long was your longest relationship? Uh, I don't usually take her for very long. Usually a couple of weeks or so, a couple of months at the most, maybe. It all depends. I have some crazy ass fucking women I meet. Yeah, I know. He's over drinking some whiskey, Chantel. Uh huh. Maybe all right though. He likes chocolate. Help me out. Bachelor, Those are good people on here today. Bachelorette number one. Yes, darling. What's your favorite series from Fashion East of Sim? And no, she did not tell me to say that. I'm asking that myself. Her favorite series? Yeah, your favorite series on her channel. Oh. <laughs> Mine would be... No, you got a good voice, honey. Well, thanks. I like this show the best, the Mike and Game. I'm on here quite a bit and I enjoy it. I think she's happy about that! And what? he got sent a squid. <laughs> Gosh dang it. You made 10 copy when you said that was your favorite series. Oh, I'm happy. He's happy. Damn you, crawl! Get the fuck out of my damn underarm! And I sent him a squid. I was didn't notice. I think he was too excited. Bachelorette number two. Yes. What is your favorite series on Fashion East of Slim's channel? Let me see. This is the first time I've been on here. Um, I was briefly on. Well, I was on a machinima myself. But I really enjoyed that. Oh, you thought about coming back? Oh, actually, I would love to. Um. I guess I've had more fun on this show, so I'm just going to say the mating game. You've never seen anything else? Not really. I stay pretty busy. <laughs> I'll have to start watching more. Good idea. Lots for number three. 
Uh huh. What's your favorite series on Fashionista Sims channel? Sam Maker's easy place to be. Cottage living is the life for me. Land spreading out so far and wide. Fuck some machine, just give me that country life. I ain't the way the damn song went. It is That's the way I'm singing it today, hell! <laughs> and I love this show. I love this show too. I like all of them actually, but you know. Bachelorette number one. Yes, horny born. What is your favorite series on Genie Sims channel? Survivor. <laughs> Survivor is a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I'm so glad you won last time. Me too. Maybe, maybe you'll have a chance in the future. I hope so. I hope to come back. Maybe next time. My favorite series on Fast News of Sims channel, I forgot to mention. Is the mating game also? The newlywed game's fun too. Yeah, my favorite on Genie Sam's channel. I would have to go with either Worst Cooks or Survivor. We haven't been on Worst Cooks, have we? I don't know. We need to. We've never been on there. Oh, that did, oh wait, I think we did one time. Did we? Yeah. I I don't remember. Probably a while ago. Bachelorette number two. Yeah. What is your favorite series on Genie Sims channel? I'm a big Survivor fan, so yeah, I love that and Worst Cook, so I'd say both. Good answers. <laughs> Bachelor number three. Yes. What is your favorite series on Genie Sims channel? Kinder, Let's see here. It was any of them that I was starring in, but anyway. Uh, I would say Survivor and Worst Cooks. I love them both of them myself. I do think... Um, I do have to say, Karina, the, the country life is a really good one, too. Oh, I agree. Cottage living is what it's called, I believe. It's called country life. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I, thought I got it right first time. You did. Cottage living is with the Tanakas. Oh, I'm sorry. That's a good one, too. Yeah, I like the 100 Baby Challenge with Dorky, too. Oh, good God. I forgot about that. That's a good one. That's okay, Ed. I, I, it I don't like matter. I like Happily Ever After, also, because the drama. Yeah, Shown. He got kicked to the curb. Ah! <laughs> 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 Saw some right screen, you Sean. He was pissed off, wasn't he? Hey, he was. I heard he's. I heard he's talking crap now. I wanted to wait to see. Yeah, hey, watch it. Yeah. Anyway, Bachelor at number one. Yes, darling. <laughs> if we were in a serious relationship. Uh huh. How long would it? Would you wait until you just until you would want to get more intimate with me? Oh, I would do it immediately. <laughs> Good answer. Boxer at number two. Yes. If we were in a serious relationship together, how long would would you wait until we got more intimate together? Um, as far as love making, it would probably have to wait till we were married. Ew. I respect that. Bachelor number three. Well, we're not going to get into it, but I'll ask you in a different way. How long, if you're in a serious relationship with a woman, how long would you wait until you got more intimate? I'm open for any kind of intimacy. Whenever she gets ready, it's fine with me. Good answer. Bachelor at number one. Yes, honey. Let me think. Let me think how to word this. I know. What is one of your turn ons? <laughs> we'll see here. A cute little blonde headed boy feeding me french fries. <laughs> Not really well sexy, I have to say. In his underwear. Yes, you look skibbies. <laughs> Bachelorette number two. Uh huh. What is one of your turn ons? Um. Um. I love a man in a suit. I think he looks really good. Ooh, I'm wearing fancy clothes. And Tink's confident again! He's wearing a suit! Tink's been getting a lot of confidence lately. I have. I'm, I'm actually almost in tears because you all love my game. And me. Yeah, you're wonderful, Tink. Oh, you're the best host ever! Thank you. I appreciate that. Hi! 
Oh, I've never had more of the air hooks for now. I'll take it, Fred. Thank you. I have no hooks. <laughs> what turned you on, honey? Yeah. Which makes you kind of nervous to see. Well, if you not really have one right now. My honey. Uni. Huh? Oh, you answered that part, didn't uh, you? Uh, I said a, a man in a suit. Oh, yeah, that's right. I got, I got, I had a big... I was waiting for fucking mine, but that's all right. I had a big head for a second. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I got off top because of pink. Box number three. Yes. What is one of your turn ons? Mm. A sexy woman. And that could be anybody, really. Sexy women are just everywhere. Bigger, smaller, taller, shorter, don't matter, they're all sexy. Alright, go ahead with your last question, Eloise. Bachelor at number one. Oh, oh. Yes, bye bye. What was your worst date ever? The Spider Man. Oh my god, you date a Spider Man? Oh yes, it was a while back before we got close. Alright, go ahead and do tell. It was awful actually. His, his outfit smelled like sweaty armpits. Ew! Somehow or another, claw hits the right on my damn hair. And your hair? What in the world is on country? It's my bloody hair. Who was in my hair? What the fuck was that? I don't even know. I guess it's Minerva. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, he hits the right in my hair. And I was sitting there. And he was... He was doing sit-ups. What in the world? Oh no, it was gross if you ask me. Every time he had his arms behind his head, I thought I was going to puke. Even Claude fell down off my hair and fell into the floor and was over on his back. I thought he was dead. Oh no! I told Spider-Man to give him mouth to mouth. He said hell no, he wasn't going to. What kind of a superhero is that? He wouldn't even help a spider. No, he said he ain't gonna fucking uh, ain't gonna save no spider. He's Spider Man. I oh, know. That's what I was trying to say. You're Spider Man, you fucking idiot. Save a spider. He said no. I'm oh, Spider Man. I don't give a shit. I'll squash his ass. That's my butt work. Look, see, I know. Claude came unglued, jumped on his face, and started fucking biting him over here. It was funny. His face was swell up like four times the size. Then he turned into his. Demon form, I mean human form. Yeah, he did. It was it was terrifying actually. But anyway, that was one of my worst dates ever. I bet I bet Spider Man turned ward as a ghost. His mask was like four times the size it was before his face was swollen, looked like a little pimple boy. <laughs> <laughs> Good story, Chantel. Well thank you, Horny. Bachelor at number two. Uh huh. What was your worst date ever? <laughs> my brother he set me up with one of his friends one time when I was in high school and it was a jock you know football player basketball player etc etc and it was just all about himself he didn't care about me at all well I mean he wanted other things but I said no you know but yeah he was just into himself mostly he talked about how great of an athlete he was, how much in shape he was, how good he looked, how many women wanted him, and yeah, I, I didn't want to ever go out with him again. I told my, I hit my brother in the arm. I said, don't you ever set me up with that jerk again. I think he probably would cheat it on you. Oh, definitely. That's really sad to say. Alright. I might be my question. Box for number three. Yes, Alois. What was your worst date ever? This is gonna be good. Man, you're not actually gonna believe this. Oh, really? Uh huh. I'm waiting. Anyway, I met this girl named Becky Buckley. That's not a bad name, Betty Buckley. Okay, I'll take. I'll accept that name. What do you mean you'll accept it? They're, they're all true names. 
Any, but anyway. Any words about the Ed? Not really. I just ignore her most of the time. She had a sister named uh, Ashley. Oh my god. Yeah. Anyway, they lived together. They were roommates and stuff. So we went out to a nice dinner and stuff. Went over back up to back up to Ashley and Becky's for you know a little fun and stuff. You know. So anyway, she's sitting there talking about her sister. And. That she had, she was married. She had a husband. And I said, "Oh, so you live with your sister and her husband?" And he, she said, "Yeah." And I said, "Oh, that's cool. That's cool. No problem, you know." Anyway, uh, I asked um, Becky. I said, "Well, where's your sister's husband? Is he at work or something?" And she said, "No, he's sitting right next to you." I said, huh? I said, I don't see nobody next to me. She said, well, he's right there. I said, is he invisible? <laughs> and she said, he's a ghost. And I said, oh, good God, really? Two people maybe, or whoever to a ghost. Is he a poltergeist? <laughs> and she said, no, he's just a ghost. He was a pirate. I said, when? She said, back in the 1700s. I said, okay. I said, I turned around, I looked over there, and I was staring at an empty fucking space on the couch. I said, nice to meet you. What's your name? Of course, I heard nothing. And Becky said, his name is Mac. <clears throat> Mac? That's not really a very good pirate name. She said, well, that's what it is. I said, what's his last name? She said, Sparrow. I said, oh, hell. You said Jack Sparrow. That's a fucking movie from Disney. She said, no, it's Mac Sparrow. I said, bullshit. Am I on fucking some kind of candy camera or something? Is this a trick fucking show? She said, no. I'll show you the pictures of their wedding ceremony. I said, okay. Let's bring out this wedding album, right? And there's some beautiful pictures of the bride and, and Becky and her mom and daddy and blah, blah. Of course, there wasn't nobody there from his side of the family. Or at least nobody I could see. And I said, uh, where's the bride and groom picture? She said, oh, it's coming up, it's coming up. She flips to the back of it, and there's a fucking picture of her sister with a fucking pirate flag. I said, where's Mac? She said, well, he can't be seen, so we just made him it look like it's just a pirate flag. I said, okay. So, actually, your sister's married to a fucking flag. I said, how long, I said, how long is this fucking pole? That's none of your business. I said, flag, pole. Get it, flag, pole. Never mind. Anyway, I'm really tired of dealing with fucking nutty ass fucking people. You know what I'm saying? I just got up very calmly and said, excuse me, I gotta go to the bathroom. I just walked out the fucking door and left. I ain't now. I'm not dealing with fucking married people and ghosts anymore. Ed, where do you find these people? I have no idea. They just pop into my life. I think, I think, uh, I think it's, I think actually, it, it's a constant uh, joke on Ed Poke is what it is. Constantly a joke. I think somebody laughs up there somewhere. I don't know. I think they think it's funny. I don't have no words otherwise. All right, right back up this brief commercial. Hang on, folks. Good God, Fred. I'm always concerned when it comes to Ed. Oh, right, we're back up that brief commercial about pirate flags. Who had no any words, Fred? I don't know what to say. Eloise, would you like to bachelorette number one? Mm. Bachelorette number two? Mm. Or Ed? I'm going to choose bachelorette number one. Oh, right, thank you, honey. You're a beautiful young girl. I'm sure you'll find you a nice guy. 
Thanks, Ed. That's very nice. No problem. Are you? Are you coming? I have to tell him something. All right, I'm here. What do you want to do today, sweetheart? Let's go to Applebee's. All right, then. Let me get my bed and sit down. You look good in that purple. And you look beautiful in yellow. All right, that was. I think it's, they're always have a very nice date. I think. Stay tuned next week, folks, for an all-new mini game. I'm Tink Fartswell. Have a nice evening. Thank you so much, Tink. Chantel and Aloise are, I think, always going to be picked together. Probably. Hello, I didn't bother putting anybody else on because there are two peas in the pod. <laughs> but it's still fun. I enjoy it so much. I haven't used Uni Sue since the machinima I made with her. And I will be bringing her back at some point with new episodes. I really would love to do things, more things with her. I think she's a very, very lovely sim. Thank you so much, everyone. And what do we say? Goodbye, everybody. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Boy, shit. Good job, honey. You sound good. Damn you and your fucking red couch tank. <laughs>